I was communicating with one of my clients and she asked this question, Most Ms. Mary, how do I even know that I am feta? How do I even know that I can give birth? How do I know about this? Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture YouTube channel. My name is Ms. Mary, popularly known as the Nurse with the Difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be answering this question, how do I know I am felta? for both the male and the female. How does a woman know she is still fertile? How does a man know he is fertile? So if this is your question, this video is for you. But before we go into the test proper in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, if this is the first time on our YouTube channel, please click on that subscribe button. Please just click on that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell because once you turn on the notification bell, you get a signal that we've uploaded a new video so you don't miss out for all our returning subscribers this is not very really say thank you all right welcome back like i earlier said today we are going to be explaining about fertility how do a lady know she's better how do a man know he's better that he'll be able to um give birth to children so let's start with the lady first for the ladies to know that you are fertile first of all the first question i'll have to ask you is are you seeing your meses are you having your meses every month are you ovulating like you release egg you see those signs of ovulation that i listed below so if you've not watched our video on the signs of ovulation i'm going to drop the link in the description box below so if you are seeing your meses and you are ovulating that is a that is a sign that you are fertile. That is a sign that an a sperm can come to fertilize that egg and you'll be able to carry your baby, you'll be able to get pregnant. So if you have that, that is a sign. Then also, if you have history of a previous infection like chlamydia, candidiasis, gonorrhea, that is something you should take note of because those diseases, those recurrent infection, those recurrent infection that you have can result in pelvic inflammatory disease. And pelvic inflammatory disease might cause scarring of the fallopian tube and that scarring might affect fertility. So if you are having such history, it's advisable you go for a test. It's advisable you see a doctor, they run a test and they know you are fine. It's better off. Then also, have you had any past um, history, family history? Like, is there a family history of early menopause? You notice that your mom got to menopause early, your grandma got to menopause early. Is there a family history of early menopause? That can signify um, there could be something wrong with fertility that you have to see a doctor. And I'm not saying it's a stamp. When you have that, it simply means you are not fertile. I just say it might give you a clue. But in all, if you are worried, it's better you see a doctor do the necessary test and confirm it. So don't misquote me. Then also, if there's a history, family history of PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, that can signify there might be a reduced fertility. And if you have a lady, you have PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome, that can give you a clue that, oh, there could be a reduced fertility. That's something you should take note of. So if you are having past medical history, that has something to do with your reproductive organ or past surgical history that has something to do with your female reproductive organ that's my decree that might you see the word might decrease your fertility but that is not a stamp that you, you are not filter but if you are disturbed about oh am i filter how do i know it's advisable you see a doctor and for the females there's a test known as um, anti-malaria hormonal test that helps to determine the amount of eggs that is being produced, that is left, sorry, the amount of egg that is left. So I'll make a video on that. That will help you understand better. So these are the things that gives you a clue when it comes to female fertility. For the men, for the men counterpart, we're done with the female. For the men to be able to know if you are fertile, if it's worrying, if it's disturbing you, the first thing for you to do that confirms it is semen analysis. Yes. Go to the lab, let them do some semen analysis. They'll check your sperm to know the amount of sperm in your semen. So if the amount of sperm in your semen is less than 15 million sperm per milliliter of semen, 
that could be a sign of low sperm count that could be low sperm count that is low sperm count but if it's above 15 million sperm per milliliter of semen that is a good sperm count it simply means you don't have low sperm count and you are of higher chances of giving birth or fertilizing an egg and giving birth to a baby then at home you can also check your testicles your testes you check is one bigger than the other if one is extremely larger than the other that could be a sign of cancer and you have to see a doctor you also have to check do i just have one testis it's just one that's present or both are present that can also give you a clue when it comes to checking your fertility as a man and also there's something i want to take note of because a lady sent me a message and she was like my man doesn't last long in bed is he felt that so a man might not last long in bed like you expected but that doesn't mean he's not fatter even if he released immediately and his sperm count is high you can get pregnant so that doesn't determine that doesn't affect the fertility i don't know if you get a weak erection does not affect fertility in quotes a man might not last long in bed but may have good sperm count that's something you should take note of so don't judge your man don't judge your spouse by their ability to perform on bed because what really matters is this amount of sperm present in the semen that is going to the egg to be fertilized so this is what i have to share when it comes to the male knowing if you are fertile for the male knowing if you are fertile for the female like i earlier said this is not just a stamp for you to know i'm fertile i'm not fertile if you are worried about your fertility it's advisable to see a fertility specialist your doctor your um your gp just talk to them about it communicate with them this is just a video to educate you on what to note but that doesn't mean it's a stamp so if you are worried, advisable you see a doctor for further diagnosis, for further test, and for further confirmation. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Miss Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.